Do you like to slay? <laughs> what is up you guys? It is your girl Lyba back at again with another video and today I have a haul that I can only really describe as slay. Um, I thought that a lot of these figures slayed <laughs> and so I bought them and today is the slay figure haul. <laughs> Sometimes you just look at an anime figure and you're like thinking about like, oh, like how, what, how, could, how would I describe this figure? And the only term that you can think of is slave. And that is what today's video is. If you're new to this channel, hello. My name is Laiba and I am a pretty avid anime figure collector. I like to, I have a lot of like different interests, but if you're new to this channel and you like what you see while watching this video, then please consider subscribing because I actually have a goal. I really want to hit 5,000 subscribers. So if you'd like to support the channel, then please hit that subscribe button. And without much more intro from me, cause like, I don't, I mean like slay is slay. Uh, let's get into this video and let me show you all of the slayage figures that I have gotten recently. So the, the first figure that I want to talk about today, which is suffering from glare issues, is the original design character from Good Smile Company of this character. I don't know who the artist is, so I'll put them on the screen, but the figure's name is Yueji Minchka, and I am 100% sure that I like butchered that name. But this is one of those figures that I think I saw like a My Figure Collection photo of the day, and I was like, ooh, everything about her, I love. I think that her outfit slays, I love rose tattoos. I love roses in general. They're my favorite flower. I've recently been falling more and more love with um, green haired characters and just everything about this figure was gorgeous. I'm pretty picky about like figures that aren't a full body, but this one especially was gorgeous. And I noticed her aftermarket going down quite a bit, which I really don't comprehend why, but I've been eyeing this figure in Amiyami pre-owned and I was hesitant to pick her up because I had one of those warnings where like, Warning, figure is heavy, box is huge, shipping costs will be high. And I eventually picked her up on Bai for like a really good price with their 20% off coupon that they were doing. It was like a, like a limited coupon thing. And let me tell you guys something. First of all, the box is not huge. It's actually on the smaller end of figure boxes that I've seen and it, she's not heavy. So I don't know why that warning was on that figure genuinely, like the box was not big, um, but I love her. Ah, first of all, I got her for a steal because her just aftermarket has tanked so much. And also then I like stacked a coupon on top of it, but she's fucking everything. Like I don't get why she flopped. She's so beautiful. She is so cool. I don't have a lot of figures that are like beautiful and cool and badass. And I think that she really, and encapsulates that like everything about her i think she's just like so fashionable looking and so slay like that's all i can say if this is a figure you've been considering i definitely would check her out and see how much she is and like i to be frank i did use service parcel i've been using service parcel a lot lately just to like save money it's either use service parcel or don't buy figures for me so <laughs> i'm a service parcel girly now but definitely like check out shop around because you can get this figure for really cheap and she is not as big of a box as all the websites are saying she is so like uh, i don't know what that's about but the next figure i got is the red variant of this title chica fujiwara chinese china dress figure i had had my eye on the yellow variant for a while now because i actually think that this was like a really cute prize figure design and i saw the pictures of the yellow one and it, i felt as though it came out pretty well a lot of people don't really like the face on it but i, I think it's fine i think she's really cute and i really like chica i love love is war so when i saw that the red variant was available i waited to like see it pop up on like tokyo otaku mode or like uh, some other website and it never did i think it was like a really exclusive quote unquote exclusive variant i don't know how exclusive a prize figure can be but this is another one that i picked up on proxy service through mercari japan for really cheap like I want to say under $20. I'll put on the screen how much I paid for it. And she's so freaking cute. I love the red and white variant so much more than the yellow one. I think it just like A, suits my personal tastes and my room aesthetic more. But B, it's just like so much cuter. Like it's red and pink. Like red and pink is one of those like color combos that you think would clash, but they don't. Like if you've ever seen like 
that trend where it was like red and pink outfits that were like color blocking. It was so cute. So I really don't have much to say about this prize figure. I think that it's really beautiful for a prize figure. And you guys know I'm like a little picky with my prize figures, but I'm not opposed to them. I'm just picky with them. And yeah, this one, super cute. Definitely like breaks the rule of having multiple figures of one character just because of like how cute it is. I love her. So cute. I love the double buns. 10 out of 10. Would recommend. Moving into the next figure, I picked up the this title Ichiban Kuji Hatsune Miku flower fairy figure, which was illustrated by Anmi, who if you guys already know, I love Anmi's work. I think it's just so beautiful, 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 soft and feminine. And I picked up this figure. Honestly, I thought it was really gorgeous. I've seen a lot of people on TikTok post it, but I also happen to just follow a lot of like Hatsune Miku enthusiast figure collectors on Instagram and I feel like there was a month straight where like all of these people I was following just like kept posting figures of this and I I'm easily influenced so, <laughs> so I eventually picked it up and I picked her up again This is one of those like Ichiban Kujis that is like I feel like it's slowly rising in value But staying around the 40 to 60 dollar range So I wanted to like grab it now just before it in case shot up and I'm really happy that I picked it up I love flowers i love fairies i love like super girly concepts and i think this is just like a really adorable and sweet looking miku like i love her base the rippled white plastic actually looks pretty nice with the flower that she's on this is all one piece too i don't think i put this together so if you hear it it's a little wobbly sounding which is like slightly concerning but really high quality paint job on all of the different pieces. Definitely this is one of those Kuji figures where like it came out amazing. Cause so I do feel like a lot of like Ichiban Kuji, like Kuji gacha figures, a lot of them are not amazing looking where it's kind of like, why is this even limited? But this one, this one is worth the limited name. I especially love her little like vintage style microphone that is like a, uh, a flower. I don't know what kind of flowers these are. I'm not like super familiar with them, but she's just so cute and she's just so soft and girly. And I'm really happy that I succumbed to the hype because this is a pretty affordable figure for a really good price. For, I mean, affordable means good price, but like it's really cheap in my opinion. And like, it was, it's worth the hype. So like 10 out of 10 would recommend. Moving into the next figure, this original character design Beautiful figure, Benicho Hoteri. If I butcher the name, let me know the pronunciation. But I actually bought this figure from my retired bae, Danielle. Oh, so sad. So when I went to her house to like go hang out, I saw this figure and like I loved it. First of all, this is one of those figures when I began collecting before I was buying scale figures where I was just like, wow, this is so gorgeous. Like I would never buy a scale figure. Like I can't afford it. Look at me now. Um, but this is one of those figures that I like distinctively remember from the beginning of my collecting journey, like looking at it and be like, wow, I'd never be able to like buy a figure like that. But here I am today with this figure, which is why I'm really happy that she messaged me when she was selling off a couple of her figures and was like, do you want to buy this? And I was like, yes, I want to buy it. So I bought it from her. Um, for about like what she goes in the market, right? And like, I have a TikTok and maybe a YouTube short, maybe, no. It's a TikTok because TikTok's the only short form platform that allows you to do three minute videos. I have a TikTok of me putting this figure together and it was like an actual fucking nightmare. This figure is horrid to put together. It's really like the way the pieces fit together. It's like a puzzle. And like, I'm kind of traumatized from it, but overall incredibly gorgeous and like definitely sentimental because I bought it from a friend. I'm really happy to own her. I think that she's so gorgeous and unique and beautiful with like a little bit of like dark creepiness, not too much creepiness, like the most cursmidgen tiny bit. And I just really like her. I really like red and white figures. I'm, just, I, it's, a, it's like a colorway that I really love that I haven't really truly been collecting. So I'm, I am like subconsciously picking up more of those figures, but yeah, I love her. Um, if you buy this figure, the string, the string that's holding the like little spider, <sighs> it's horrible. So fair warning, this gave me a migraine to put together. Moving into the final figure for today's video though, I got the one seven scale Amelia birthday cake figure by 
Good Smile Company. And this figure I would really been wanting for a long time, but it, you know, it's one of those figures where like you really want it. It has a good aftermarket price, so like you know you can pick it up whenevs, but like you're cut because it has a good aftermarket price, you kind of just procrastinate on buying it. Well, this is one of those figures in my collection. I really wanted it because I feel like it's just like a super duper cute figure, and I do really want more dessert themed figures, and I do really like Rezero and Amelia, but I finally got around to buying this figure because of my brother. <laughs> so I have been begging my little brother for years to watch anime and he started watching it and it wasn't even because of me first of all it was because his all of his friends got into it so he started watching it and since he is now getting into anime he was like hey i want an anime figure for my birthday if that's okay and i was like i will get you an anime figure the fuck like yes i'm out here on the internet talking about anime figures like i would love to get you a figure and i was like which one do you want he sent me a list of like some of his like favorite like waifus which by the way i don't like that word but what else are you gonna call them? Um, he sent me a list of like girls he wanted figures of and we kind of looked through the listings. Like I told him, look through my figure collection. Like here's these links, look through them and see what you want. And he settled, it was either this <laughs> or the E-Stream purple crystal dress version of her. No, the blue crystal dress version of her, which goes for like a butt ton of money. And I was like, that is out of my income range for now. <laughs> We settled on this one and I was like, okay, I'll get you this one. And then I was kind of like thinking to myself, I was like, why I'm buying this figure for my brother? But like, this is a figure that I've been wanting for years. So like, how, how dare I buy this for my brother and not even for myself? So I bought two of them and one of them is for him and it's in his house. He has it, it's, the, it's in his room. And then I bought one for myself. Cause I was like, if, he, my, if I buy one for my brother and this is a figure I've been wanting, I have to buy it for myself. Otherwise I'm a sham. <laughs> but yeah, so it's kind of special because it's the me and my brother have like a matching Amelia figure. It's so cute. And yeah, I really like this figure. I think it's so cute. I'm surprised it didn't get re-released because the Rem got re-released, but Rem gets special treatment. I don't want to talk about it, but I really love her. I think she's super cute and I'm really happy to have her. So that was it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you agree that this was in fact a very slay collection of figures that I've added to my collection. I know that a lot of you guys have probably already seen them. If if you watch my room tour, which you haven't, I did the updated room tour because I'm gonna start packing everything away because I gotta move in like March or April or even February. So <laughs> I gotta pack up the figures now. But yeah, I really love all the figures that I picked up. And if you also love them, then please consider subscribing and helping me reach my goal. That's it for today's video. And this is the last video of 2023. So I hope you guys have like a happy new year's and I hope you like take time for yourself to rest and relax and have a good holiday. I know holidays are touchy for some people. So definitely take some time to have your best like life. And I will catch you guys in 2024. Um, definitely, I will see you then, so.